say they have mixed emotions. Some shock, some confusion, uh, others have a little bit of optimism. I've heard over and over again today locals saying that they don't want this change to cause the businesses here on Neptune Beach to lose their local charm. I think their concern is what's going to happen to the hotel and what the lemon bar is going to become. Lemon bar is known as a local's favorite here on Neptune Beach and resident Michael Sharp says he doesn't want to see it get taken from the community. We want to keep the lemon bar and if it becomes a boutique hotel, that's okay for business and tourism, but it may not be good for the locals. So I think that's what the concern is going to be. Khan says plans for the property are still under development, but he envisions its future will be similar to what exists today. A boutique hotel, restaurant, parking, and other amenities. In a statement, current property owner Kathy Cole says, We poured much of our heart and soul into the Seahorse Oceanfront Inn over the past many years. And we've certainly enjoyed the journey knowing the properties have meant so much to the Jacksonville community. Now it's time to pass the torch. Atlantic Beach resident Rufus Pennington says he is optimistic about the change. I do hope that Mr. Khan finds a way to keep the character of our local area here intact. That would be really nice. The purchase of the Neptune Beach properties is the first project beyond the downtown area for Con and Iguana Investments. I reached out to the company and the owner of Lemon Bar and the hotel today, but did not get a response. Live in Neptune Beach, Taylor Levesque, First Coast News on your side.